to the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver, the Lone Ranger. brought the first great influx of settlers into the western United States. And for many years afterward, gold was the one thought in the minds of the emigrants. The rich soil and grazing land meant nothing to them. But the masked rider of the plains was able to vision the future of the new country more clearly. It was he who persuaded the men who came as prospectors to remain as farmers and cattlemen. It was he more than any other man who made possible the winning of the West. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoof beats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Hello, Silver! We've got to hurry! Come up for you on the trail ahead! Hello, Silver! Hurry! High on a hilltop, the Lone Ranger and Tonto had reined in their great stallions. Below them stretched the valley, a wide green plain, cut by a river that sparkled under the summer sun. Look, Kimasabi, you should search from one end of the west to the other. You'll never find better soil than you'll find right there. Uh, one day all those miles will be divided into farms. There, fellow, already. Those cabins below us? Ah. Uh. Tell the people in those cabins are perfect examples of the men and women who seek wealth everywhere except where it exists. Planted at their feet. What you mean? I'm crying about them back at Mayville. They're farmers and their families from the east and the middle west. Oh. But it wasn't the opportunity to get cheap land that brought them here. They came only for gold. Mm, that's bad. They took out homesteads there in the valley because it gave them easy access to water. They filed on the homesteads themselves because they didn't want others to come along later and claim that site. Ah. Uh-huh. But it's not the valley they're interested in. It's those hills to the west. They've been prospecting those hills for months, even the women. Or at least those who haven't children too young to be left alone. Ah. If they locate gold, it'll be a miracle. A mere willingness to search for it isn't enough. You need experience and the proper equipment. They might stumble over a dozen rich veins and never recognize them. Not right. When all the time, if they'd only realize it, they'd make themselves prosperous just by farming the land they'd already held title to. Then he big fool. The very human chemo, Sabe. It's always the other man's game that seems to promise wealth. Never your own. Uh, 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 uh. Engines say far try bone best pony. Exactly. Well, Sutter, we'd better be riding on. Uh huh. But we're coming back this way in a few weeks. Why do that? Sooner or later, they're going to awaken to the fact that gold isn't as plentiful and as easily found as they were led to believe. Oh. When that happens, they'll face a choice. They turn to their old homes or live here on different terms. You think them leave? I think they will. Uh huh. But if they'd remain, they'd give the West what it needs most of all. Honest, hard working citizens. Building a prosperous community. Might be a good thing. And if we must, Tonto, we'll do all that we can to bring it about. Come. Uh huh. Get them up, Scout. Hello, Silver! Hello! <laughs> And as the Lone Ranger had prophesied, the men and the women in the valley failed in their search for gold. It was a discouraged group that gathered in Zeke Cotter's cabin one night. Besides Zeke himself, there were his wife Martha and a younger couple, Cal and Laura Munson, their nearest neighbors. Two others were present, men who did not belong to the little community. The elder was known as Fade Wiley and his companions simply as Jake. Gold was the one topic of conversation until Zeke put a stop to it. No, folks, it ain't no use. We was just a pack of fools to come here. Where gold's been found, it's all took up. And that it ain't been, 
It'll take smarter folks than us to locate. Martha and me have just about decided to head back home. Have you, Martha? I think so, Laura. Don't know what else to do. What are you and Carol planning on? Mm, ain't exactly made up our minds yet, ma'am. Ain't still hoping to find gold, are you, Carol? No, wouldn't say that, Zeke. But I've been wondering if maybe it wouldn't be the wise thing to do to stay on even without the gold. Yeah? Why? Tell them about the taters you planted, Laura. Taters? Oh, I didn't plant many. Just enough to do us. Cal and my family don't think it's a meal unless there's taters on the table, you know. So I thought I'd just see how they do. What happened? Oh, my. When I dug them up, I could scarcely believe my eyes. Twice as big as they ever grew back home. And teeth. Well, you never had anything half so good in all your born days. It's a lie. Uh, what do you think of that, Zeke? What do I think? Well, I'll ask you just one thing. What good's raising taters or anything else when there's no place to sell them? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't think of that. Well, then you'd better. Farmers no good unless you've got a marker. What do you say, Spade? You never farmed a record, but I guess you'd agree with me there. <laughs> right you are, Zeke. I don't want to discourage you folks none, but if me and Jake was in your fix, I reckon we'd hustle to where we'd come from. Yes, sir. You fellas was just about raised in the West, wasn't you? Sure was. Well, don't you think someday farming would pay a fella? Don't you think this country's going to build up till there's folks enough to buy what you raise? Not a chance. Mister, if you wait for that to happen, you go loco first. But, Jake, I was thinking... No, I've been here quite a spell. In all them years, the number of folks living out west ain't even doubled yet. Fact is, when the gold's all been dug up and the last of the buffalo killed and the beaver gone, I'm willing to bet no whites will stay on. They'll let the Indians take over again. This will just be a kind of a desert. Oh, that's awful. Mm, sounds like sense to me, though. Thanks. And thanks for helping us try to find gold. Oh, well, that's all right. Me and Jake was glad to do it. Always like to help our folks that don't know the rope. We're just sorry we couldn't help you make a killing. Mm -hmm. Just the same, it was mighty decent to you fellas. In a stranger's to you. <laughs> oh, shucks, ma'am. Forget it. Well, Zeke, you really think you're full stakes, huh? Mm, guess so. How about the other folks? Oh, I reckon we'll all do the same. I ain't heard nobody but Cal here mention they wanted to stay on. No, I just thought it was. Cal, sure, I know. You just didn't think things all the way out. Mm-hmm. Uh, you'd soon have been sorry if you'd stayed. Well, Laura, then that means you'll go when we do. Well... Yeah, uh, reckon so. Well, that'll be fine. Of course, Sammy can get the school and back east, but he can't get here. Laura, you'll find you'll be better off in every way. I say we ought to get ready to travel as soon as we can. I'll talk to the others. That'll be a sorry day for us, folks. Jake and me have enjoyed knowing you. It'll be lonesome when you're gone. I reckon we'll head over Texas way. Well, Spade, let's be getting back to camp, huh? Yeah, huh? we are. Pa! Hey, Pa! Guess what I just seen? Oh, well. well. Mind your manners. Gee, Ma, if you'd have seen him like I done, you'd be excited, too. <laughs> What'd you see, lad? Two real outlaws. Well, 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 well. I, I know they was outlaws. The one was a redskin, but the other was mass. It covered his face like this. See, Ma? Just like this. Outlaws. Well, I reckon that settles it. When outlaws start to come, I say it's time for us to go. Well, well we'll be moseying along, folks. Bye. We'll be seeing you again before you leave. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye. 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 <laughs> so they're leaving. <laughs> and they thank us for taking them where we knew doggone well they weren't gold. <laughs> <laughs> when are we heading for Texas, Spade? Texas? <laughs> Who said anything about going there? <laughs> Get up there, boy. Get up. Get up. It was the next day that the Lone Ranger rode into the secret camp he shared with Tonto. Oh, hold it, Silver. No more. No more. <laughs> Well, it was lucky we did return. Uh, trouble? Not trouble in the ordinary way, Tutter. But those homesteaders are doing what I predicted they would. 
They're making ready to return to the east. How do you know? I met a trapper who left the hills for Mayville. He stopped overnight with them. He told me the whole thing. Oh. I can understand the disappointment of not finding gold. I can understand why they might wish to return to their old homes. But there's one thing I can't understand. What that? Why two fellows called Spade Wiley and Jake are so interested in their departure. Mm, me no savvy. From what that trapper gathered, it seems that Spade and Jake have been spending quite a bit of time with those homesteaders. Oh. They've gone with the men to the hills and the back to disguise without pay. Oh. It could be, of course, they were simply being generous enough to help those people. Mm, maybe. But they represented themselves as men experienced in prospecting. Oh. That trapper says he saw a sign that showed they'd taken those homesteaders into a section where any prospector would know gold couldn't be found. Mm, that keeps... Thing. He didn't mention it to the homesteaders themselves because he could see they thought a great deal of Spade and Jake. They decided it was none of his business. Uh-huh. Well, maybe it wasn't. But we're going to make it ours. Uh, what we do? First, we'll call him Zeke Cutter. He's as near to being the leader of those homesteaders as anyone. Right now? Well, not now, but the minute it gets dark. That evening, Zeke and his wife had just seated themselves for their evening meal. And the door of their cabin burst open. What the? Hey, Spartan. Now, remain outside and watch the horses. How's it going? The outlaw is Sammy, so... You get out. Sit down. But I'm not going to... I'm likely to be tempted to reach for that rifle. What do you want? If it's cash... I want nothing. But then what do you... have to talk with you. Huh? A talk with me? Stranger, I don't waste words with crooks. You get out of my house. Please, no, Zeke. You're getting mad. You'll do something terrible. Neither of you will be harmed, Mrs. Cutter. You have my word to that. Zeke, you might as well make up your mind to talk willingly, because I'm not leaving until you do. What do you want out of me? One good reason why you and your neighbor should pack up and return to the east. Huh? You're right in the center of as fine a country as you'll ever see. When you homesteaded here, you took title to soil that had never been plowed. Soil that'll grow anything. We didn't come out here to farm. I know that. We came for gold, and there's none to be had. So we're heading back where we come from. To return to farms that were worked out years ago. To return to a crowded territory where you'll pay good money for land not worth a fraction of this, which you can have for nothing. What if we can? What good's it to us? Like I told my neighbor yesterday. You, you can't farm and make money without no markets. Well, what do you want money for? But... And that's a fool question to ask. Is it? You can raise all the food you need. There's plenty of wood for fuel. As for clothing, if you can't make yourself, you can get by barter. Any storekeeper would be glad to trade his wares for the things you could raise. Huh. Even so, it won't always be like that. One day there'll be a hundred men and women in this district for everyone who's here now. You will have a market. You will have as good a market as a man could want. Bosh. I've been told different that fellows that know a heap more about it than you do, I bet you. Yes. And they say folks are leaving, not coming. It's getting worse, not better. Who told you that? Oh, you wouldn't know them. I ask you a question. Answer me. Well, if you have to know, two fellows that was raised in the West. They wild his partner's game. Oh, well, sure. Know them? No, but I've heard of them. Well, if you have, you ought to know they ain't fools. Not by a long ways they ain't. And between them and you, I kind of think I'd better take their words. I see. And you're still determined to leave. I don't know your game, stranger. But whatever it is, it won't work. We're going back east. You say you are. What's that? But I doubt that you will. Let's go, Hunter. What's in say? He and the others are going. Oh, and there's just one way we can stop them. How about uh, learning why Jake and Spade want them to leave? Now to continue our story. After leaving Zeke Cotter's cabin, the Lone Ranger and Tonto did not return to camp. They traveled west for two miles, and then suddenly the masked man pointed ahead. The campfire, Kimo Sabi. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. <laughs> That's Jake and Spade. Ah, uh, at their camp. You know, I think we'll do a little investigating. 
What do you mean? There's an arroyo heading in a general direction somewhere off to the left here. Yeah. Uh, I mean no place. So the night in that arroyo, we'll have cover enough to approach them without being seen. Ah. Uh. Maybe if we can hear them talk when they believe no one's around, we'll find out what we have to know. That's good idea. And let's head for that arroyo. Easy, Santa. We can't risk being heard. Uh. Get him up, Scout. Come on, old fellow. The Lone Ranger and Tonto silently approached Jake and Spade's campfire. They listened to their conversation for the better part of an hour, then stole back to their horses and returned to camp. During the next few days, the homesteaders devoted all their time to making ready for the journey east. Goods were packed, wagons repaired, and supplies gathered and loaded. Finally, all was in readiness, and early one bright morning, the homesteaders gathered for the start. Zeke, standing beside his wagon, caught sight of Jake and Spade and hailed the two men. There they are, Marcy. Hi, Spade. Zeke. Hi, hi, Zeke. Come here. Well, see, you got your bedroll strapped to your saddle. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. You fellas pulling out right away. Just as soon as we'll see you folks off, Zeke. Howdy, ma'am. Good morning. <laughs> Happy to get started, are you, ma'am? Oh, my, yes. I'll be so glad when we're on the way. Just getting ready has been terrible wearing. I reckon it has, ma'am. Well, Z, it comes kind of hard saying goodbye. If you had an east and us leaving right away for Texas, I don't suppose we'll ever meet up again. No, don't reckon we will. But if you're ever near Zanesville, you'll just have to let us know. That's your home? Well, that's where we used to live. I reckon that's where we'll end up. Uh, don't want to rush you, Zeke, but I think your friends are ready and waiting on you. Huh? Well, well, so they are. All set, folks? Well, we're going right now. When I start up, you folks pull in behind and follow. Uh, here, Mark, yeah, I'll help you out. Uh, hand me the whip, honey. Thanks, well, Spade, here's where we have to say goodbye. Hope we meet somewhere else sometime. That goes for you, too, Jake. Bye, folks. Bye. Get up there. Goodbye. Get up there. Goodbye. 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 Well, Spade, rid of them at last. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now what? Wait till they're out of sight. Then get rid of that bedroll and ride for the boys. Uh-huh. Tell them it's safe to show themselves. And hope setters have left. And we're taken over. Right. Hello, what is it? Oh, God. Oh, Hello. Oh. Oh. Hello, it's me. The home city? Uh, what about Jake and Slade? What are they doing? Jake ride. Other fellas stay. Good. What you do now? What we heard this fellow say the other night, Sutter, their friends must be a good distance from here. Not right. Well, we'll give them a chance to get to the valley and make themselves at home. Uh-huh. Then we'll stop the homesteaders. Not good. They're going back to the valley. Uh-huh. When they get there, Sutter, things will start happening. <laughs> day, the homesteaders headed eastward, making camp just before nightfall. They resumed their journey early the next morning with Zeke Cotter's wagon still in the lead. Get up there, you critter. Get up. Get along with you. Hello, Marcy. I'm all right. You ain't said much this morning. What's ailing you? You think? Oh, Zeke, I don't know. Stomach ache? Oh, silly. But there is something, huh? Well, I will. Maybe you could see it. Yeah. Uh, something kind of foolish, Zeke. You just laugh at me. Laugh at you? Well, I will not. Yeah, sure Cross will. my heart, I won't. Uh, honey, what is it? Uh, I'm kind of homesick. <laughs> homesick? Well, if that don't beat all. There, I knew you'd laugh. But gosh, Martin, we're heading home. What more can you ask for? Didn't figure we'd be there the minute we decided to start, did you? Uh, I didn't mean things, Bill. Huh? Uh, I meant I'm homesick for the valley. Did we just live? Oh, I know it's silly of me. I... Well, why in Tunker didn't you say so before? But you were so anxious to leave. Mm. I don't see where we had much choice. But I thought from the way you talked that you couldn't stand it there any longer. 
Mr. Uchan, the children. Word, word, English. With the creeks and all them trees running up to the hills. And the flowers and the good way the air smells. Uh Uh-huh. In the prime hunting. No neighbors crowding you too close and... Hey, what's the matter with me? <laughs> Sound like I was raised there, don't I? <laughs> Martha, you and me better forget all that. Think where we'd like to be that counts. It's where we can make the right kind of living. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. We'll go up. What the... You hear anything, honey? Well, there it is again. Where you... Hey, look. There's a fellow that yelled it. See him on his white horse? And there's a pink. That's a redskin riding it. Hey, my stars, Marty. That's a masked man in that ancient part of his. Yeah. Oh, Marty. Why not? Uh, hold up. Get up there. Get up there. It's a hold up. Get up there. Not for you, mister. Get up there. Come on. Get up there. Get up there. Then you join us. Hey, no, wait. Well? You ain't going to harm him, are you? You won't shoot him or anything, will you? I won't harm him, and this isn't a holdup. I want you to go back to the valley, nothing more. But Zeke stays with me until you do. You'll have to go back. You'll have to. What do you say, folks? Uh, that looks like your answer, mister. We go back to the valley. Good. Turn your wagons around and follow me. Go, 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 go. Are we almost there? Pretty close, son. Another hour, maybe. Well, we can expose that mass man down in this time. What do you think he's doing? Lori, you sure got me there. But I All I can say is I've been watching them riding up ahead of us. The mass fellow and Zeke have been doing a heap of talking. So it looked to me as if Zeke was half as mad about the whole thing as he was at first. Why? Why, no, don't get it. There's no use our guessing. I reckon when we get there, we'll find out all there is to find out. Get up! Get on! Get up, sir! In the meantime, Jake had ridden to the hills. He returned hours later with a gang of a dozen men. A bearded, hard-faced lot that quickly made themselves at home in the cabin Zeke Cotter had vacated. They spent the night drinking and gambling, slept late the next day, and when they were finally awake and dressed again, became surly and quarrelsome. Come, come! Who emptied this here jug? Ain't a drop left in it. I answered this yourself, only you was too far gone to recollect it. You liar! Boy, who asked your rotten hide? I'll take you and bust you and... You go. will not! Oh, 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 cut it out, you two! Jake, you ought to have more, sir. Well, anybody start a fight, and I'll take him on myself. Uh, he said... I heard what he said. There'll be no more of that talk. We get the fighting among ourselves, it'll spile everything we work for. How can it be spiled? Them homesteaders cleared out, didn't they? You and Jake fight. Then suppose one of gets slick and runs to them homesteaders to tell them why we wanted out of here. Then where'd we be? Well, I think what we do there. Maybe to get even. Who knows what a bunch of foreheads will do. Anyhow, we got work to us, Hander. Well, the location notice is to put up. Head down the ones you find, and each one of you choose your own homestead. Drive the stakes and get off set. What for? We can't file on them yet. Them farmers have been gone long enough. Won't hurt to get that much out of the way, will it? Show anybody coming along that we've got first thing. But caution. Wait, what do you mean? Outside, look outside there. Well, I'll be. They came back. 
Out of my way. What? Sam Hill brought them back. There's a masked man with them. Hello, Junior, partner. We're heading to the picture space. What's the deal, mister? It ain't nothing to him, but it's funny to me. He lied to me. You waited till we were gone, then called in your crooked friends and planned to take our home. You gave them up. I still have the right to take them back. Yeah, they will. Get out of this cabin. Take your friends and families for a bunch of yellow farmers. Thought when you heard the railroad trying to go further west by way of this tunnel that you'd get these people to leave, didn't you, Spade? Huh? How did you know that? You and Jake talked too much one night when you thought you were alone. You deliberately discouraged these people, urged them to leave, and came here to help yourselves. You, Now get it. out. There ain't enough of you to make it. No. You hear that, men? Yeah. Come on, add them, fellas. Add them. Tell us! Give these farmers what for? Tell us! Let's go. Let's go. Farmers closed in on stage gang. Chairs were smashed. Bottles thrown. No quarter was asked. No quarter was given. Stage fighting desperately against the masked man was the first of the outlaws to cry for mercy. Leave me go, masked man. I give up. I'll kill him. Leave me go. Hello, you go. go. On your way, all of you. Go on, get going. Travel. If they don't want to use skunks around here after the next minute, we'll start again where we left off. Well, Zeke, you told those fellas a lesson they'll remember. I don't think they'll make any more trouble for you. Thank oh, God, stranger. How you walk them fellas. <laughs> it was biting two at a time. Yeah, I seen him. Hey, look at them hoofs. Look up your horse. They can't get away from here fast enough. I should have known earlier, Zeke, that the railroad would be coming through this valley. That's the only logical route we can follow. We mm, can sell it the land it needs for good cash and still have plenty left for ourselves. Right. Listen to me, folks. I want to say that now we've got the best piece of all for calling this valley our home. The railroad, huh? No. Ain't the railroad? And it ain't because this part of the country is going to build up. Then what is it? Folks, we fought for this land. And I'm here to say it takes fighting for something to really make it yours. 